Hey, what's up, guys? It's Jake K Tag, and today we're back at it again with Mega Knight Ram Rider. This is one of my favorite decks in the game right now, and a lot of people are asking me, Jake, what are you gonna use for the 20 win challenge? This is most likely gonna be my deck. You have amazing air defense with Inferno Dragon, Ram Rider, Snowball, Poison, and Minions. That's a lot. So when you're playing against Lava Hound Clone, you're gonna have adequate answers. You're gonna have great answers to other Ram Rider decks because you're gonna have the Ram Rider, the Snowball, and the Mega Knight. And I feel like this deck is fully equipped to deal with Bridge Spam as well because you have Guards and the Mega Knight and Snowball. And then of course, against any type of beatdown deck, you're gonna have the Inferno Dragon. So this deck is pretty good against almost any deck in the game. Check it out and let me know how it ends up working for you down below in the comments section. All right, so we got a game. We're gonna be sassing out of good luck here. One out of four for a Snowball to kick things off. And we'll see what Miss Aldo has. Definitely gonna go in for Guards right on top of the Miner. Predict that placement because obviously they're scared of NATO. So, what do you want to do? You're going to go Barb Barrel, okay. Well, the guards will be able to finish off the Barbarian before it gets hit on a tower. I can go for a Ram Rider. And this is looking like it could be a Mortar deck. Definitely looking like Mortar now, yeah. <laughs> it is Mortar. I'm going to have to go for the Inferno Dragon to shatter the uh, Dark Goblin. And then, uh, I don't really need to Snowball that. Don't really need to Snowball that at all. I want to save it in case he ends up having Minion Horde. We'll see, though. Barb Barrel is going to be kiting the Inferno Dragon. Well played, sir. Well played. I think that was a very well played maneuver. So we'll see what they want to do. Kind of scared. I'm just going to go for minions here. See if they end up going for a Mortar, because I do have Mega Knight. Otherwise, we'll just play Cautious. I'm going to go Poison that, because Snowball is not going to do anything. Ram Rider. It's incredibly difficult for them to defend against Ram Rider. So that's really good for us. Poison comes down. Oh no, this is really bad. Usually they have Fireball, but if they have Poison, it's going to be an infinitely harder matchup for me. Go cycle the Bandit in the back. And I think I can go in for Ram Rider and Minions, maybe. And then Snowball if he goes in for Girl Rascals. I think that's a, probably our best bet. We know they don't have Fireball, so we can stack up a lot more than usual. And that's going to completely nullify any type of goblins. We should be able to go in for a Giant Snowball as well. The Ram Rider will be able to kill the Dark Goblin, and we take the tower. So yeah, I think they overcommitted with the Minor Poison and we punished them super hard. We set up a push, we didn't go in for the Mega Knight, we made sure that we conserved Elixir and did not overcommit on defense, we didn't snowball the bats, we did not snowball the Goblin Gang, and gradually accumulated Elixir advantage that was insurmountable and we took the tower. So I think we might win this game. I'm just going to keep cycling cards in the right-hand lane and, unless they gave up, and we'll just uh, take the tower. So yeah, they definitely gave up. Easy three crown, glad to assert dominance against a Mortar player like this one. Yeah, yeah. Just made sure I never overcommitted. Super important to not overcommit, especially if they have Minion Horde. If they had Minion Horde and I snowballed there, I think I would have straight up lost the game. GG, well played, and peace out, Girl Scout. Pleasure playing against you. Good luck in the rest of your games. All right, we're gonna end up going for a Ram Rider here, and we're gonna be able to shut down the Dark Goblin. Gonna go in, and hopefully we can get some damage on the tower. Yep, Ram Rider pulverizing through, crushing his hopes and dreams. So Goblin Gang, Dark Goblin, and Pekka. Definitely gonna be a pretty difficult matchup because of the Electro Wizard and Pekka to shut down our Ram Rider and our Mega Knight, but I think we can break through him. Okay, so he's probably going to try to go in for a Pencil Push behind that. I'm just going to set up my Inferno Dragon, and hopefully he ends up going for Pencil plus Electro Wizard, then I can just Mega Knight on top of that. We'll see though. Otherwise, I'll just go in for a Snowball. We'll be Snowballing out here. Okay, so there's the Electro. So now I can go Mega Knight right on top of the Electro Wizard. We have the Inferno Dragon. Notice how we orchestrated that. We knew that we could separate the P.E.K.K.A. with the guards and then go in for the Mega Knight on top of the Electro Wizard, allowing the Inferno Dragon to stay alive and then the counter push was just sublime. We end up taking out the tower right here, right now. That's generally what you want to do. You want to pull the P.E.K.K.A. off to the side. When they end up going in for the Electro Wizard at the river, they get super feisty. You shred them with the Mega Knight on top and the P.E.K.K.A. is already captivated by the guards, so it's not going to really accomplish anything. And now I can probably just 3-crown him and assert dominance to the highest degree, go in for another Inferno Dragon, and just mess him up real good. So I think we got this in the bag. We got two dragons on the map. The Ram Rider coming through. This is dominance asserted to the highest degree. GG, well played, and peace out, Girl Scout. Shows how to play this matchup pretty easily if they overextend with the P.E.K.K.A. and Electro Wizard, but yeah, GG, man. All right, we got a game we're going to be saucing out of good luck here. I'm going to go in for a bandit at the river. This guy's going to go sauce out of good luck. I appreciate you, sir. And he drops Zappies. Okay. So when we see Zappies, it's going to be a Barbarian deck. And I want to split push against it. Cannot go same lane all the time because I'm just bashing my head into Barbarians constantly. 
I'm gonna go Mega Knight right on top of the Bandit. I'm gonna get some Sublime and Counter Push potential on both sides with the minions and the Mega Knight. So he's gonna go in for Barbarians on the left, most likely, yeah. So as soon as you see the uh, Zappies, you can tell that it's gonna be Barbarians, so pretty obvious deck. I want a Ram Rider, so then we can go and stun the Mega Minion so we don't suffer any damage on that side. Poisoning would be an overcommitment. I know that we're going to get a ton of damage with the... Uh, okay, not going to be an overcommitment if you drop Zappies. Definitely not going to be an overcommitment if you drop Zappies. But it would have been an overcommitment if uh, he hadn't done that. I know that the Ram Rider would have done a significant amount of damage to the Magic Archer. And there was no reason for me to drop a Poison when there are so many other cards that are super valuable in his deck to Poison. He's running Poison and Fireball Beta nonetheless, so why would I drop a, a Poison on something that's going to die anyway? Alright, so I can end up going in for our Inferno Dragon, same lane as the Bandit. The Bandit will hug and, chill, uh, hug and chill and not really do too much. I'm going to end up going in for Guards off to the side to kill the Bandit. Ram Rider after. So that might have been a slight overcommitment with the Ram Rider, but now I can definitely poison that because he ended up dropping Barbarians with the Magic Archer, so he's giving me a lot of value. We'll always snag that. Generally, what I'm saying is, if he goes in for Spam... I want to go in for a Mega Knight and then not go same lane as the Barbarians and the Mega Knight. Because the Mega Knight's going to be counter pushing down the same lane. And then maybe I'll sauce in minions, but I'll never go in for the Ram Rider same lane. Because what ends up happening is this guy will end up dropping Barbarians and everything gets cluttered. Like, if you guys haven't played against Barbarians with this deck yet, your units will not be able to break through because the Mega Knight and the Barbarians are too thick. So, I'm not going to go same lane here, just going to go opposite as per usual. Ram Rider should be able to break through and do a considerable amount of damage. I should have went in for a Snowball, but still going to get a hit. End up going in for Guards here, making sure that I have enough Elixir for the Mega Knight. Zappies are going to be super noxious. It's okay though, I can just go in for minions. As long as the Zappies die, we're chilling. And then I'm going to go in for a Poison now. So I don't have a Ram Rider coming in at it. Otherwise, uh, I wouldn't have poisoned. Oh, minions are getting so much damage. Okay, so we're going to go in for the Ram Rider. I don't think he's back. I'm going to go in for a Giant Snowball on top of the Zappies. Hopefully, we can reset them so then it does not end up stunning the Ram Rider and we get the charge. Then we win the game. GG, well played, and peace out, Girl Scout. Got him, Chief. Sir Tag CR on Instagram, a whole bunch of interactions, a whole bunch of cool stuff like this. Mega Knight missing the pencil. Bandit fully countering the Electro Wizard. No hits. This triggered Frost a little bit. <laughs> Frost, remember this interaction? The giant snowball canceling the Mini P.E.K.K.A.'s attack and then taking the tower. Killing the Mini P.E.K.K.A. because of Snowball. There's a whole bunch of stuff like that. So I just wanted to do a quick shout out to my Instagram. If you guys want to find uh, cool tips and tricks, I post daily content here. So, uh... Check it out. I have a whole bunch of posts ready and raring to go. I really appreciate uh, if you guys checked it out as well. It supports me and it helps me out. We're going to end up kicking off the game with guards. We're going to split them right out of the gate. See what's up. This guy's going to end up going for a tombstone. So we already know that's phenomenal for us. I'm going to rush opposite with the Ram Rider. And see if we can accomplish anything. That should bypass the tombstone. Inferno Dragon is dropped. So this is definitely going to be a Lava Hound deck? No, I don't know. Because Barbarians. This could be Lava Hound clone. It'll be a funky Lava Hound clone deck. We go for an Inferno Dragon here. Gonna try to get away with Bandit and then minions right on top of the Inferno D. Definitely have to go for a giant snowball to propel back all those barbarians and minimize the amount of damage that he's gonna get on us. And the minions should end up shutting down the Inferno D. We're gonna have a decent counter push if the bandit stays alive. Yeah, bandit's at a good HP. He'll stay alive and demand a presence. Demands a flying machine. Flying machine will die here. If I go in for a Ram Rider, especially it dies. I'm going to utilize the timing of the tower and the Ram Rider to shoot down the uh, fly machine. And then he has the tombstone. The tombstone dies. The skeletons do not provide any utility against the Ram Rider. They just die and then we get a hit. No, we don't. Psych. <laughs> I guess the uh, flying machine was barely able to get enough damage to nullify the remainder of our HP. So that was well played. I thought for sure, man. I was counting my blessings a little bit too early. I was like, yo, it's Christmas already. And then we didn't get the hit. So that's a little bit unfortunate. Definitely a minor Lava Hound deck. It's looking like minor Lava Hound. Yeah, that's what it is. I'm going to get a Juicy Poison down here. The 
Pops will end up dying, then Fur Dragon should end up dying, and we should be fine. And then I can go for a Ram Rider in front. This time, we are going to be asserting the dominance. This time, it's going to get through. I'm a believer. Don't screw me this time, dude. I want to end up going in for a Bandit because I know that the uh, Skeletons will die, and then if we get the Bandit tanking, then the Inferno Dragon can get more value. And uh, barely... No, it wasn't able to kill it. I thought we were going to be able to kill the Fly Machine there. It's going to get a hit on our tower if we don't drop guards. We will drop guards as a result. And then I just want to go in front of Dragon, same lane that he's going to be spamming us. I want to win this battle and just get good counter push after. So here we go. Ready and raring to go. He's definitely going to zap us. I want to go for a Ram Rider here. I want to poison immediately after. I want to go in for guards. Is that actually not going to die inside the poison? Well played, dude. Well played, sir. That was extremely well played on his end. That zap was immaculately timed, but I think we will still win this game if I just kill his miner. He's going to go in for a miner soon. I'm just going to snowball it. And then the Ram Rider should stun it out of uh, range, so it won't get any more hits. Ram Rider snares it, and it's a pretty effective way of stopping the miner from getting any extra hits. You snowball it away, Ram Rider snares, and it's out of sight, out of mind. Okay, we're fine, I think. Maybe? Yeah, we're okay here. That's what I'm going to keep telling myself as uh, we silently get not three crowned. That's going to stop me from getting a hit, won't it? No. There's just guards here. Mega Knight opposite because he doesn't have anything to pull it. If I defend this, I'm fine. This isn't good, guys. I lost. I didn't get the guards down in time. If I did, I think I might have won. If I got the guards down, I think I might have won this. Screw it. Let's make a knight here. He's gonna Paka. We kill the Paka. This is pretty good. I have to snowball all this. Oh, I actually got hits. GG, man. Oh! What? Oh, no. I don't win. Maybe? Oh my god, Chief! Oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> so he's going to end up having an Ice Wizard. Don't really know what this is. Probably going to be a control deck though. Ram Rider. So we're going to go Ram Rider on Ram Rider. They're going to stun each other. They're going to have love. They're going to just be broing it out here. And... We're chilling. We're doing really well. Ram Rider and Ram Rider is one of the best interactions that you could possibly dream of. It's the only unit that cannibalizes itself and uh, denies itself from any damage. I don't really think of another unit that completely counters itself without any damage. It's really cool. I'm going to go for guards here. What else do we want to do? I feel like we're okay here. Definitely feel that I can't go into Electro Dragons too often, so my Inferno Dragon is going to be severely underutilized in this matchup. I don't want to go and use my Mega Knight until he goes in for the Ram Rider, because I want it to be surprise. There we go. Couple with the minions, we should be okay. Never mind, we're not okay. That was just a prank, guys. That was definitely just a prank, I promise you. That's going to stun us. That's going to suck, man. That's going to be so much damage on us. Mega Knight's not going to break through, will it? Ah, it will. It will It'll get a hit on the tower, maybe. No, it won't. I was too optimistic. This seems like a hard counter, actually. Because it's an Electro Dragon. I can't kill the Electro Dragon. I don't have a single card to kill that. How am I going to break through? 
I can just Ram Rider his Ram Rider though. I'm gonna cycle Inferno Dragons back when he doesn't have Electro Dragon. The person that keeps dropping their Ram Rider is gonna lose this matchup. Unless he has Lightning. If he has Lightning, I'm screwed. Okay, thankfully he doesn't. Minions, NATO. Ugh. This matchup sucks, guys. I can poison that Ice Wizard and it'll die, but Mega Knight's really accomplishing nothing. I have nothing for that Electric Dragon, man. Ram Rider and Ram Rider is always cool, but... I think I go opposite with my Ram Rider here. Or just spam him opposite. I think I have to do dual lane aggression if I want to win this. That's what I'm going to try. Okay, that kyle them a little bit, guys. That kyle them a little bit. Not phenomenal, but it was okay. I mean, we could vibe with it. He 100% Ram Rider is here, so I was just going to go Ram Rider in the back. Stun his Ram Rider, please, Ram Rider. You have one job. I have to spam him opposite. I have to, like, start a push and spam him opposite. Maybe if we Mega Knight here? How do I kill that Electro Dragon, guys? Someone tell me. Someone show me the way. Snowball. Come on now. Come on now, Electro Dragon. You know you want to die. That sounded bad. <laughs> hey, we got damage. Did we outplay him? Oh, the bandit comes through. Absolutely demolishes him. If I win this, I'll be so happy. I should die, right? Why are you poisoning, dude? You're, you're freaking wild. You're a mad lad. Absolute mad lad out here. Just going in for the poisons for no reason whatsoever. Hey, we win! Okay, thank God. That Electro Dragon was the most annoying card I've ever faced in my life. Holy crap.